You can get tricked and say, you're, you're, it's easy for you to say, you don't know my life. You don't know what I've been through. You don't know what they've done. If God ever said that in your direction, you'd be hopeless. That's how it can't be right. Every day you lived outside of him. Every day you had an attitude that worked against his desires and his kingdom and his will. Every time you failed to appreciate his accomplished work on the cross. All that stuff. You compile all that. If God ever internalized that and said to you, you don't know what you've done to me. I can never let it go. That would be a sorry, sad day, wouldn't it? Why would you assume to take on the position of something he will never live in be? And why would you want to be forgiven of everything you've ever done and not become the same thing to others? Why would you want mercy just to obtain it and not become merciful? Why would you want the blessing of the Lord without wanting to become that same blessing to others? That's the kingdom of God. It's not enough to be forgiven. It's enough to become forgiveness. It's not enough to be loved by God. It's enough to become the love of God. It's not enough to receive mercy. It's enough to be merciful. Anything less, I'm going to say something narrow in your church. Anything less isn't the gospel. Just maybe a piece of it. But this is the gospel. You say, that'll cost me everything. Everything you never were anyway. So don't have such a hard time giving back what you never were called to be. Don't you covet what was never yours. All you're giving back is what you never were in the first place. That should be an easy trade-off. Give away you to obtain him. That sounds amazing. <laughs> you're all good. <laughs> 